Lover. If we weren't fucking four times a day in three different rooms in too many positions to count. If I wasn't blowing you like an out of work porn star on the first of the month, like a Catholic school senior with a hall pass and enough religion to believe that if it doesn't make babies, it isn't fucking. If watching you didn't leave me rainforest wet, the curve of your belly built for my hand to cradle. If I could watch you undress without gasping, if I could ride you slowly without giving in to my own frenzy. <laughs> if we didn't fuck like coming was the closest thing we were ever gonna get to spirituality, would you still be here? <laughs> Don't look at me speechless when I ask you this. I am no Rapunzel, no Cinderella, there are no glass slippers in my closet, I am no virginal snow white laid out in the forest. I have been pricked by the spinning wheel, but instead of sleeping beauty, it's left me with too much history of sexual abuse to ever trust someone's intentions when they touch my body. Sometimes lust looks too much like a wolf in grandma's clothing. My! How big your cock is. <laughs> Let me take you inside me. This is how I found power in being an object of desire for those who cling to love me and always saying yes when someone wants me because the word no has never gotten me anywhere besides the wrong end of a touch from someone who should have known better lover. You have to understand the years I spent building a fortress for my affections to protect them from the people to whom I give my body. See, maybe you didn't hear the vulnerability in my voice when I asked you to move in with me. Didn't see me trembling with the possibility of giving someone my heart when I've already handed over my skin's topography lover. Hold no illusions about my perfection. I have tasted more poisoned apples than wheat spun into gold. My body is as wide as the gulf I've had to cross to love myself again. I make no apologies for this. Instead, I lay myself before you, wounded and open, lustful and trembling, brimming with the possibility of something beautiful being born between us that can outlast everything that was ever broken inside me.